Carl Friston's free energy principle is a theoretical framework that describes how the brain minimizes uncertainty and prediction error to maintain an accurate model of the environment. This principle posits that the brain continuously generates predictions about sensory inputs and adjusts its internal model based on the discrepancies between these predictions and actual sensory data. The interplay between various cognitive and neural processes can be understood through the concept of triads, which consist of three interconnected elements that dynamically influence each other. By examining the relationships within these triads, we gain insight into the mechanisms by which the brain reduces free energy, leading to improved perception, action, and adaptation. Firstly, let's consider the triad of prediction, sensory input, and internal model. These elements coexist in a way where the brain generates predictions about sensory inputs and upon receiving actual sensory input, compares it against these predictions. Any discrepancy or prediction error prompts the brain to adjust its predictions to better align with future sensory inputs. Sensory inputs provide real-time data that inform and update the internal model, making it more precise. The internal model, in turn, generates predictions, ensuring they stay aligned with reality through constant comparison and adjustment. Next, we examine the triad of minimization of prediction error, updating beliefs, and adaptive behavior. Here, the process begins with the minimization of prediction error, signaling the brain to update its beliefs or priors about the environment. Updated beliefs lead to changes in behavior, ensuring that actions are more adaptive and appropriate. Effective adaptive behavior, in turn, results in more accurate interactions with the environment, reducing the likelihood of future prediction errors, thereby creating a reinforcing loop. In the triad of environmental changes, sensory evidence, and predictive coding, environmental changes lead to new sensory inputs or evidence that must be processed. Sensory evidence is then used in predictive coding to adjust the brain's predictions, ensuring they match the actual environmental input as closely as possible. If the environment remains stable and unchanged, there is less need for predictive coding adjustments. As the existing model remains valid, reducing the requirement for updates. The triad of prediction, attention, and sensory integration follows a non-linear relationship. The brain's predictions influence how sensory inputs are integrated, enhancing or suppressing certain inputs to fit expected outcomes. Integrated sensory information then focuses attention on relevant stimuli, ensuring the organism responds appropriately to the environment. Without predictions, the integration of sensory information becomes less structured, leading to a more diffuse allocation of attention, which could hinder effective responses. The triad involving inference, belief updating, and action selection demonstrates an inclusive process. Inferences drawn from sensory inputs lead to updates in the organism's beliefs or priors, keeping them accurate. Updated beliefs then inform which actions are selected, ensuring adaptive behavior. The actions taken based on these updated beliefs and inferences further refine the beliefs and inform future inferences, creating a feedback loop that enhances adaptability and precision. With prior beliefs, prediction error, and sensory evidence in a conjoined relationship, prediction errors indicate discrepancies between prior beliefs and sensory evidence, prompting adjustments to both to minimize future errors. Prior beliefs influence the generation of predictions, and inaccuracies in these beliefs increase the likelihood of prediction errors. Sensory evidence provides the actual data against which predictions are compared, and discrepancies result in prediction errors, highlighting areas for belief adjustments. Finally, the triad of sensory input, generative model, and inference demonstrates a harmonic relationship. Sensory input, combined with the generative model, which is the brain's model of the world, leads to inferences about the environment, aiding understanding and prediction of sensory inputs. Sensory input and the resulting inferences refine the generative model, ensuring it remains accurate for future predictions. The generative model, informed by inferences, helps interpret sensory inputs, creating a feedback loop that continuously improves the accuracy of both the model and the inferences. Understanding the relationships within these triads illuminates the complex and dynamic processes by which the brain minimizes free energy. Each triad represents a crucial aspect of cognitive and neural function, highlighting how the brain generates, adjusts, and refines predictions to align with sensory inputs and environmental changes. This continuous interplay ensures that the brain maintains an accurate and adaptive model of the world, 
reducing uncertainty and enhancing survival. Through the examination of these triads, we gain a deeper appreciation of the intricate mechanisms underlying perception, action, and learning, all governed by the fundamental drive to minimize free energy.